ever pondered on the invisible enemy that we breathe in every day? Air pollution? We may not see it, but it's there, in the air we breathe, omnipresent, impacting every living being on this planet. The World Health Organization estimates that around 7 million people die each year from exposure to fine particles in polluted air. It doesn't discriminate based on geographical location, wealth or status. Everyone is affected by it. 92% of the world's population are living in places where air quality levels exceed WHO limits. From the bustling cities to the tranquil countrysides, no place is untouched by the scourge of air pollution. The cost of this invisible enemy in monetary terms is enormous, with the World Bank estimating that air pollution costs global economy $5 trillion annually in welfare costs. Air pollution is a complex concoction of diverse pollutants. It starts with the particulate matter, tiny particles suspended in the air. These particles are so small that they can infiltrate our lungs and even our bloodstream. They are the silent infiltrators, causing health issues without us even knowing. But particulate matter is just the tip of the polluted iceberg. There are gases too, invisible but potent. Monoxide, a lethal gas, is produced in abundance from vehicles and industrial processes. It has no color, no smell, but it can cause headaches, dizziness, and in high concentrations, even death. Then there's sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides, byproducts of burning fossil fuels. These gases are not just harmful to us but also to our environment. They react with water, oxygen and other chemicals in the air to form acid rain, forests, lakes, and the creatures that inhabit them. And let's not forget the volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. These are a group of chemicals that are released into the air from products or processes. Some are harmful by themselves, causing eye, nose and throat irritation, headaches, loss of coordination and nausea. They can also damage the liver, kidney and central nervous system, Air pollution, a silent adversary, is a global concern that demands our immediate attention and action. It's not just about saving nature or the environment, it's about saving ourselves, our children, our future. It's about ensuring that the air we breathe is not a silent killer but a source of life. But what exactly fuels this invisible enemy? To answer that, let's delve into the primary culprits behind air pollution. They can be broadly classified into two categories, natural causes and human-induced activities. Natural causes of air pollution are as old as the Earth itself. Volcanic eruptions, for instance, spew out copious amounts of sulfur dioxide and other pollutants into the atmosphere. Wildfires, another natural phenomenon, send up plumes of smoke filled with particulate matter and gases that degrade air quality. But these natural causes, while impactful, are dwarfed by the effects of human activity. Our industrial processes, reliance on fossil fuels, and vehicular emissions contribute significantly to the air pollution problem. Let's break down these human-induced causes, shall we? Firstly, the burning of fossil fuels. Whether it's for electricity, heating or transportation, burning coal, oil and gas releases a cocktail of pollutants into the atmosphere. These include carbon dioxide, a major contributor to global warming, sulfur dioxide, which causes acid rain, and nitrogen oxides, which form smog. Secondly, our industrial processes. Factories and power plants often emit large quantities of pollutants, including heavy metals and toxic chemicals. These not only pollute the air, but also contaminate water and soil, posing risks to human health and ecosystems. Lastly, vehicular emissions. Cars, trucks and buses powered by gasoline or diesel release a range of harmful pollutants. These include particulate matter, which can penetrate deep into our lungs, and volatile organic compounds, which contribute to the formation of ground-level ozone, a key component of smog. To put it simply, every time we flip a switch, drive a car, or purchase a product made in a factory, we're contributing to air pollution. Our actions, whether big or small, directly or indirectly, influence the quality of the air we breathe. In effect, our actions, whether big or small, contribute to the air that we breathe. What happens when we continue to feed this invisible enemy? Let's delve into the heart of the matter. Air pollution doesn't just stay up there in the sky, it seeps into our lives, affecting our health and the world around us. When pollutants enter our bodies, they can cause a myriad of health issues, from the seemingly minor to the life-threatening. They can trigger allergies, asthma and other respiratory conditions. But it doesn't stop there. Studies have linked air pollution to cardiovascular diseases, strokes, and even lung cancer. 
Imagine something as basic as breathing, something we do without a second thought could potentially be harming us. But humans aren't the only ones bearing the brunt. The environment suffers too. Our wildlife and plant life are choking on the same polluted air. Ecosystems are disrupted as air pollution can stunt plant growth and harm our insects, birds and animals, causing a ripple effect through the food chain. Air pollution also plays a significant role in climate change. Those greenhouse gases we hear so much about? They're a major part of air pollution, trapping heat and leading to a rise in global temperatures, resulting in erratic weather patterns and melting polar ice caps. Then there's acid rain, another byproduct of air pollution. When sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides mix with water vapor in the atmosphere, it forms acid rain, which can damage buildings, monuments, and more importantly, our water sources and soils, affecting agriculture and biodiversity. The fallout of air pollution also hits us in the pocketbook. The healthcare costs associated with treating diseases caused by air pollution are astronomical. Add to that the loss of productivity due to illness, and the economic impact is significant. In short, air pollution affects every aspect of our lives, from our health to the food we eat, the water we drink, and even the economy we depend on. It's not just about the air we breathe, it's about the world we inhabit. Indeed, the fallout of air pollution is far-reaching, affecting every aspect of life on Earth. Is there a way to combat this invisible enemy, you may ask? Indeed there is, and it starts with both collective and individual actions that can breathe life back into the air. The first step in mitigating air pollution is policy measures. Stricter emission regulations are needed to control the amount of pollutants released into the atmosphere. By enforcing stringent standards on industries, factories and vehicles, we can significantly cut down the amount of harmful substances that enter our air. Promotion of renewable energy is another key solution in our fight against air pollution. The burning of fossil fuels is one of the major contributors to air pollution. By shifting our energy consumption towards clean, renewable sources such as solar, wind and hydroelectric power, we can reduce the amount of pollutants released into the air. Yet, the solutions to air pollution are not restricted to large-scale policy measures. Each one of us can play a part in this fight. Reducing energy consumption is a simple yet effective way to combat air pollution. By turning off lights when not in use, limiting air conditioning, and using energy-efficient appliances, we can reduce the demand for electricity, thereby decreasing the burning of fossil fuels. Choosing public transport over private vehicles can also make a significant difference. A single bus can carry the same number of people as about 40 cars, significantly reducing the amount of emissions per person. Alternatively, cycling or walking not only cuts down on emissions but also provides a healthy dose of exercise. Planting trees is another powerful tool in our arsenal against air pollution. Trees absorb carbon dioxide, release oxygen, and also filter out harmful pollutants from the air. By greening our surroundings, we can contribute to cleaner, healthier air. In conclusion, the solutions to air pollution are within our reach. It's about making conscious choices that benefit our environment. Our fight against air pollution, therefore, begins with understanding and then taking proactive steps. How can you, yes you, help in this fight against air pollution? Now that's a question worth asking. We've discussed the invisible enemy, identified the culprits, and explored the fallout. We've even looked at how we can breathe life back into our air. But let's bring it home. What can you, as an individual, do to contribute to this cause? The answer lies in understanding that every single one of us has a role to play. It's about taking personal responsibility and realizing that our daily actions have an impact. It's about making small but significant changes in our lifestyles. And no, you don't have to be an environmental scientist or a policymaker to make a difference. All you need is the will to act. Consider this. How often do you use your car? Could you walk, cycle, or take public transport instead? Minimizing the use of cars is a practical step towards reducing air pollution. It not only cuts down on emissions, but also promotes physical fitness. Talk about a win-win situation. Then there's the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. It's simple, but effective. By reducing our consumption of goods, reusing items where possible, and recycling waste, we can decrease the amount of pollutants released into the air, and let's not forget about energy consumption. Switch off lights when they're not needed. Unplug appliances when they're not in use. Choose energy efficient products. Every kilowatt hour of electricity saved reduces the amount of emissions from power plants. 
These actions might seem small, but when multiplied by millions of individuals across the globe, they can make a massive difference. It's about collective action. It's about doing our part to ensure the air we breathe is clean and healthy. So let's take up the challenge. Let's make a conscious effort to reduce air pollution, not just for us, but for future generations as well. Remember, every breath you take and every action you make can contribute to a cleaner, healthier air for all.